How to avoid aiding and abetting family with an active warrant. An accessory after the fact is someone who helps a criminal hide from police. You can be charged as an accessory if you aid or abet your family member with an active warrant in any way. To avoid illegally helping your family member, you should cut off contact and work with the police. The best thing you can do for your family member is to help them get a qualified criminal defense attorney. Avoiding aiding and abetting. Avoid hiding your family member. You act as an accessory after the fact when you hide a family member after they commit a crime. If you know he or she has an active warrant, then you shouldn't let the person into your home. Hiding doesn't mean you have to drive a family member to an isolated location to hide them. Simply letting a family member on an active warrant crash at your place can count as hiding. You can't let your family member live with you if they have an active warrant. Hiding doesn't mean you have to drive a family member to an isolated location to hide them. Simply letting a family member on an active warrant crash at your place can count as hiding. You can't let your family member live with you if they have an active warrant. Refuse to handle stolen goods. You are also aiding and abetting your family member when you hide stolen goods. Whenever a family member gives you something to store, you should always ask what it is and how they got it. If your family member can't tell you where the goods came from, then you should say, I'm sorry, I don't have the room, or, I don't think I can keep that safe. If your family member can't tell you where the goods came from, then you should say, I'm sorry, I don't have the room, or, I don't think I can keep that safe. Decline to hide weapons or anything used in a crime. It is also illegal to destroy any evidence of the crime, such as weapons or communications. For example, if your family member committed a financial crime, then deleting computer spreadsheets or altering records is considered obstruction of justice, which is like aiding and abetting. Avoid giving your family member money. If your family member has an active warrant, then you shouldn't give him or her money. Money can be spent on anything and can be used to buy a bus ticket out of town. You also shouldn't lend them property. Don't let a family member with an active warrant borrow your car. Instead of giving money, you should encourage your family member to go to the police and surrender. This may be difficult for you to do. Nevertheless, your family member faces a lifetime of running from the police if they don't turn themselves in. It is better to face the consequences directly. Don't share information with your family member. You also aid and abet a family member if you give them information that will help them escape. For example, if your child is on the run, then you aid and abet them by calling them and telling them where the police are looking. You should avoid any contact with a family member who has an active arrest warrant. If they call, tell them to turn themselves in. Tell the truth to the police. Lying to the police is also a form of aiding and abetting. If the police contact you, then you should always be truthful. Tell the police where your family member is if you know and share any information about the crime that you have. 